Hello family, grace to you. Once again, this is Greg coming to you from faithsmessenger.com. The title of today's message is The Poisonous Tongue. The Poisonous Tongue. When I was a recruit in the Sheriff's Academy, my class was shown a very disturbing film. Now the film was about a Texas deputy who was shot and killed with his own gun. And what happened was the deputy was out on a traffic stop and he was ambushed by two bad guys. They took his weapon and they executed him with his own weapon. Now, the block of instruction in this particular class was weapons retention and they wanted to drive home the fact how important it was for us to maintain control of our weapons. Now, right after watching the film, we went out and did some practical application. Now, what this, this practical app was uh, entailed was one uh, student or cadet, one deputy, playing the role as a traffic officer out on a call. Now, two other recruits were playing the role of bad guys. And the object of the skit or the object of the exercise were, was for the two bad guys to do whatever it took to get the weapon from the cadet who was playing the deputy sheriff's role. And I remember having sores on my hand trying to hold on to my weapon. The, the whole idea was to hold on to your weapon. Don't let your weapon get away from you. But when you're, when you're dealing with two people and two pretty big guys, trying to get, wrestle your weapon away from you and you're trying to hold on to it, it can get pretty, pretty nasty particularly if we had a lot of females in our class, but it doesn't matter. They, we didn't lower our standard because there were women in our academy class. They had to, they were responsible for holding on to their weapon as well. And you could say that life and death were in the power of that weapon. Your life depends on you maintaining control of your weapon as a deputy sheriff. And when you think about it, the Bible says that life and death are in the power of the tongue, which is true. It's vitally important that we hold our tongue, hold that weapon, because just as the uh, skit, just as the drama, just as the block of instruction taught us that life and death were in the power of us maintaining that weapon, life and death is also in the power of us maintaining our tongue. And because we say something bad or we say something wrong and we don't keel over and die, I think we get lulled into a, a, a false sense of security that, yeah, I know the scripture says that, but I'm not going to die. I can say, oh, that just killed me and it's nothing's going to happen. But it's like chopping down a tree. Our words are like a, like a person with an axe chopping down a tree. You can hit that tree with that axe and you're not going to knock it over in one swipe of the axe. But if you keep hitting that tree with that axe, and sooner or later you'll hear that sound, timber, and that tree will fall over. No matter, no matter how big it is, that tree can't stand if you continue to hit it with that axe. The same is true with our words. You continually sow death into your life. Your life cannot remain because life and death are in the power of the tongue. So don't get lulled into a false sense of security thinking that you can just say anything you want willy-nilly and nothing will happen. The more death you speak into your life, the sooner or later that death is going to reveal itself. That death is going to show up based upon the words that you've applied to your life. So I just want to encourage you to hold on to your words. Hold on to that which has the power to give you life or give you death. Hold on to it. Don't defeat yourself. Don't allow the enemy to take your tongue and defeat you with your own weapon. So I want to leave you with that today, and I'd like to encourage you that if you haven't joined us in our YouTube community yet, to do so by clicking on the small icon in the lower right corner of this screen. By doing so, you'll receive notifications when new videos such as this one are posted. 
I'd also like to encourage you, if you haven't done so already, to join us in our blog community at faithsmessenger.com. Now, over at Faith's Messenger, we have over 550 individual blog posts on the blog, which address a myriad of different topics. Now, these are real-life, relevant, everyday topics that each and every one of us can relate to. So, once again, that address is faithsmessenger.com. Now, with all that's been said today, I'd like to leave you with a question. Now, this question can be posed to anything you may be going through today in life. I'd like for you to ask yourself, is anything impossible with God? Have a great day, family. I love you, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.